What's up, Sensi fans? It's Patricia, and welcome to another week of Tester Tuesday, a spot where this week I'm going to review three of the new release scents. Next week, we're going to complete with the last three, so there will be a little twist of, of voting at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Last week, speaking of votes, we had 382. All right, let's talk about scent number one for the week. It is Raspberry Hibiscus Tea. Beautiful color, almost like a plum fuchsia colored wax, 24% of the vote. On cold sniff, this is about a medium to a medium plus in intensity to my nose. And since he has put this in the fruity section, let's read the scent description. Since he says, a warm cup of wild raspberry and hibiscus petals sweetened with a spoonful of elderberry sugar. So the one thing they imply, but they don't say is they imply a tea from the name. So what I get the most is like a sweetened, slightly candied raspberry. And I think what's happening is the wild raspberry plus the elderberry sugar are giving me that. So we get wild raspberries right outside our front yard at the edge of the periphery of our yard in the summer. I eat them all the time. They're kind of sour, but this, this is more of a sweetened version for sure. I had to look up elderberry. I'll put a picture here. Elderberry sugar. It's a dark purple berry. It says it's used a lot in cold and flu remedies. So there you go. Now, one thing I will say is I don't get a lot of the hibiscus flowers. I've heard through the grapevine that a few people have liked this on cold, but then when they warm it, they get more hibiscus. I didn't get a ton of a hibiscus and it's, it might be because I warmed it in my open layout in my daughter's room. So it wasn't in my particular bedroom to kind of pick up on it more. But yeah, I, I got mostly raspberry with the elderberry sugar. There is a little bit of a tea note and then I would say I got the hibiscus, so, which is a floral. So a few things going on. Now, I liked this on cold, I didn't love it, but let's talk about performance. So I put, I had this bar and this. So I used a total of nine cubes. So in my daughter Erica's room, I used two cubes in her moon over Jupiter 25 watt glass warmer. Strength and throw was between seven and a half and eight. That was at its peak. Now that was day one. And I left it going 20 hours, which, you know, I started early in the morning and then I kind of turned it off the next morning. I tried it on day two. It didn't really pick up and build to what it had on day one, not even near. So I would say I got a good 20-ish hours out of it. Two cubes in my daughter's room. Now, the other spot I warmed it was my open layout. So I put seven cubes there amongst five warmers. One is a mini warmer. Uh, the first day I left it going eight hours. So on that day, it was between seven and eight. And I remember I was, I think I had put it in, then I had to take Ryan to school. My daughter's home withdrew while I quickly run Ryan to school. When I came home, I could smell it right away. It, it kind of was a strong throw, like it, like a quick throw, I guess, quick. And I immediately thought, oh my gosh, this reminds me of the raspberry that you get and I'm like, the raspberry you get, I'm like, I think it's Rock and Ruby Raz. It reminded me of a raspberry fruit punch. I got that really heavy at the beginning. So it was quite sweet at the beginning. Maybe um, along the same raspberry line as raspberry lollipop, but sweeter. So there you go. Uh, that day I had a short warming day. I left it going eight hours and I turned it off. So day two, I put it on. And I should say it was between seven and eight on day one. On day two, I left going four hours. Like I got home from work one night and I put it on for four hours. It just it just wasn't very strong. It was probably like four out of 10. So altogether, I left it going in my open layout 12 hours. And, and I was okay with it. Um, I think if you like berry scents, like wild berry type scents, wild berry fruit punch maybe, <laughs> you might like this. To me, there's not a lot of tea that the tea kind of stands out. It doesn't really remind me at all of winterberry apple tea. It reminds me of more of a wild berry fruit punch. I think because of that, you could probably warm it all year round. Um, and I think you could probably warm it everywhere, maybe even the washroom. So you can warm it in the kitchen, open layout, it did okay. Um, bedrooms, if you like that kind of scent, TV rooms, if you like sweet fruity scents. So I think what I will do is, I'm not sure if I'll buy any more because I have almost a full bar, but I, I will warm it in other spots and see if I do pick up the hibiscus more, which I probably will be okay with, but. I'll probably just stick with this spur and unless my family compliments and says they really like it, I probably won't repurchase more. Let's talk about our second place scent for the week. It is Peace Lily Be With You. This has the green front and the white wax, which we love when it's different. It had 20% of the vote. I must say the white wax warning is always in effect when you put white wax in a 
white ceramic dish, please be careful because it becomes clear and sometimes you can't tell that it's in there. Medium intensity on cold sniff and Scentia has put this in the floral, but I would classify this as a floral fresh. So let's read the scent description. Scentsy says, white peace lily and green apple, harmonized with watery greens, any touch of vanilla. Well, let's just get rid of the touch of vanilla. I don't get that at all. That would imply like a softening or anything like that. No, I don't get that. I get a mostly white peace lily. I, I guess that's what I'm getting, a lily floral. And I, then I kind of get the watery greens. I think the green apple, I can smell more on cold than I can in the warmer. I think what the green apple is doing in the warmer is it's providing a crispness, a sweetness, and a slight tart sweetness, which is kind of an oxymoron, but that's kind of where my brain goes. So I get mostly the peace lily floral, which I describe as a bright, sweet, airy floral. Some people probably say it's powdery. For me, it's not powdery. I'm perfectly fine with it. Then I get the watery greens. It's like a dewy, fresh green smell, like early morning greenery. I love it. And the green apple is providing like almost like an acidic sweetness. But no vanilla. So yeah, bright, I have written down here. Bright, fresh green, white floral with a crisp sweetness. This was one of my favorites on cold sniff. So let's talk about performance and see how it performed for me. So I took two cubes. Again, I warmed nine cubes total. So I took two cubes and put it here in my bedroom in a 25 watt ceramic warmer. It was pretty strong, eight and a half to nine out of 10. That was at its peak. On day one, I left it going 10 hours. As it was coming around to the evening, I didn't really want it on anymore because it was just too, it was still pretty strong. And it was kind of like intense. So I, I turned it off. Now day two, when I tried to start it, I could not smell it. And what happened was <laughs> there was another scent that I warmed and it was so strong and it was like lingering in the air from the night before that I think it just, it still was overpowering this. So I said I got 10 hours of scent out of this. Now, interestingly enough, I would probably use one cube next time instead of two. And it would probably still last around the same time because it's strong enough. I think you can get away with one cube in an enclosed space. Now I decided, well, it did pretty well in my bedroom in terms of strength. So let's try an open layout. So I put seven cubes down there. It was between seven and seven and a half in that big, big space. I started it early morning. I think it was like seven o'clock on a Saturday. And then around 11 in the morning, my son Ryan decided to cook chicken burgers in the air fryer. If you hear that air fryer going, you know as a scent fan that it is gonna kill the scent. <laughs> And sure enough, it did. I couldn't really get the scent after the air fryer incident. I said to Ryan, you're going to mess up my testing. But in a way, you're kind of testing it to see what if it's going to survive regular life events. It did not survive the air, air fryer. And I couldn't really smell it after that. So I think what Peace Lily Be With You does is it just comes out at you with full force. And then it dies. <laughs> like, you can still kind of smell it when you go up to the warmer, but it's not throwing in the room. So it's intense and it throws well, and then it dies down and it doesn't throw. That's kind of my take on it. If you are someone that likes that scent, Ivy and Water Lily from 2017, but you found it too light, then this might make you happy. There is that green apple influence, but it just provides a little tweak to that. But it's very similar. I don't have them to smell side by side, but I really like that scent, and so I'm really happy to have this. I would warm this in the spring and or the summer. In medium spaces, probably be best. And like I said, you could probably use less wax and I think it would still last the same amount of time as like my two cubes did. So that's probably what I'm gonna do just to get the most value out of my Peace Lily Be With You. And will I be repurchasing this? Yes, even though it wasn't long lasting, I don't think I'll use it my open layout, but at least I can enjoy it here in my bedroom and other spots of the home. And I can probably use slightly less wax and just change it out more frequently. So that's gonna be my approach with Peace Lily Be With You. All right, let's talk about set number three this week. It is Tropic Nectar. This one had 17% of the vote. Now I must say, Soak and Raise was actually in the lead until the morning of, that I closed the votes. And a bunch of votes had come in at the last moment for Tropic Nectar, like a bunch and a bunch, and this one pulled ahead. So always remember, it's never too late to vote unless I put that it's <laughs> voting is closed, of course. But yeah, that, that changed the votes for the week. So anyway, 17% of the vote, it's like an orange red colored wax. It's about a medium intensity and it's a new release in the fruity section. So Sensi says about tropic nectar, tropical fruit nectar gets even sweeter with coconut milk and golden agave. 
I do not get any coconut milk. So we can just get that out because that kind of implies a creamy, like sweet, airy vibe. No, I don't get that at all. Instead, I get a tangy, dense fruit nectar kind of vibe. And when I warmed this, it reminded me of like a concentrated tangerine with like a berry. Now, as I warmed it, I thought, I almost wondered if I smelled ginger, but then I thought, I bet you that's that golden agave. <laughs> the golden agave gives a weird tone that I can't pinpoint what it is. It's a little different, and I'm not sure if I like that part of it. Now, the other thing was there was another note that came out in one of the areas. I'll talk about that here in a second. So let's move on to performance. So I had, um, this time I only used, I think, five, six cubes because I had made some samples. So in Ryan's room, I put two cubes in his night sky. It was between eight and a half and nine at its peak. That was really strong. I left going the first day 20 hours. I did put it on again another day for about eight hours, and then I removed it. So it was about 28 hours over two days. His room is fairly small though. It's the smallest bedroom. I would say it's about maybe like 12 by 10, I'm guessing. Um, so in that room with the door closed, it just lingered. Now in my TV room, it did not perform as well. That is a bigger space. There are two warmers there, a 40 watt Edison bulb and a 25 watt ceramic. It was about seven out of 10 for four cubes. Day one, I left it going eight hours. And there was times where I, I walk in it would feel strong. And then as the day went on, I would walk in, I'd be like, I'm not sure if I'm getting it. And then I'd walk in again and I could smell it better. So it's one of those like fake out scents in bigger spaces. On day two, I have a note that I left it another eight hours. And on that second day, I said, I, I noticed a fresh green lush <laughs> style background scent, almost like, like palm trees or something with the tropics. So I'm not really sure <laughs> if I was imagining that or not. Anyway, if you like fruit punch scents with like a variation of sweetness and a variation of like that tropical pa palm tree kind of note, then definitely pick this one up. Performance was fine, I would say, in smaller spaces and medium, it was about average. So I have a note here, you could probably put this in a kid's room because it does read a little bit juvenile. I think I'll finish up this, this wax in Erica and Ryan's room. Um, out of the three scents I reviewed this week, I, I felt like I didn't get a good grasp on this one. Like it was just hard to kind of pinpoint what I was smelling. So if I sound like I'm kind of vague, <laughs> it's because I, I had trouble with this one. So will I be repurchasing this one? Um, I don't think so, because I actually had three bars to start. So I still have some left. But uh, yeah, it was, it was an okay scent, just probably not a repurchase for me. So that is Tropic. Nectar. All right, this is the portion of the video where I normally draw six cents and you guys tell me which ones you're going to vote for. But next week we're going to cover Soak and Raise, Woodland Meadow, and Poor Banana Leaf Bamboo that came in last. So we'll cover those three. But what I wanted to do, just kind of get some interaction on the video because I like, it's, it's a habit for me to kind of see the comments. I would like for you guys to share any recent star mix that you have because on our wax melting challenge we had to mix this week so it was nice to see what everyone kind of chose i would like you to put a mix that you have really fallen in love with put it down in the comments so everyone can see and then possibly try it out and enjoy it could be a mix that you direct mix in the same warmer dish or a mix that you use in alternating warmers just let us know which way you mixed it and then we can enjoy it so thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you had a great day in your neck of the woods. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Take care and I will see you guys in the next one.